Hi, I'm Troy from Studio 33 Guitar, and welcome back to the brand new beginner series. This is part number five. And in today's lesson, we're gonna be learning three new chords. And then we're gonna combine those chords with the ones that we already know and the strumming patterns that we've been working on. And then we're gonna learn a song that is one of the most popular songs to play on guitar. If you're enjoying this series, then please hit the like button and let me know that I'll continue to make videos like this. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. For now, let's zoom in on the neck and take a look at how to play these new chords. In the last lesson, we were looking at a G major chord and a C add nine chord. And I was talking about how these two fingers stay in that same position for both of those chords, which makes it really nice and easy to change from one chord to another. This next chord that we're gonna learn is an E minor seven chord, and it also uses those same two notes. So we're gonna start with those two fingers where they were, pinky finger, on the third fret of the high string. The ring finger is right above it on the B string. And then our index finger is gonna go on the second fret of the A string. And our middle finger is gonna go right below it on the second fret of the D string. And that gives us an E minor seven. Now just so you know, if you play without your pinky and ring finger on and play just these two notes, that is a regular E minor chord. So that's a bonus chord that you're learning right now, but we're gonna work on keeping those two fingers down because we're gonna keep those fingers for these other chords. So it makes the chord changes easier for you. Let's work on changing from that E minor seven chord to that G major chord. That would look like this. Now you can see, like I've mentioned before, it's a very small movement to go from one chord to another. And we want to try and make that movement as small as possible so that we can make the chord change quick and smooth. So from that E minor chord, all we're going to do is lift off our middle finger and place it on this G note. Now as we do that, we want to slide our fingers forward a little bit in order to get that note. But other than that, we don't want to lift off this finger because you're just going to have to put it back down in the same spot. And we don't want to lift these fingers because they don't need to move. So that makes the chord change pretty quick and easy. All you're going to do is lift off that middle finger, move it up to that G note. So I would recommend just work on practicing that change even without strumming. Just work on getting that change to be quick and smooth. Once you're able to do that, then add in some strumming. Right now, we'll keep it really basic with just doing down strums. Now just there, I was playing four strums for each chord, but earlier I was just playing two strums on each chord. And that's what we're gonna need for the song that we're gonna learn later on. So work on that next, two strums on each chord. The next chord we're gonna learn is called a D sus four chord. Now we're not gonna get into the theory behind why it's called that, but if you are interested in learning more about music theory, then check out our website, studio33guitar.com. We have more lessons and courses on there that dig deep into music theory. This D sus four chord is gonna look and sound like this. So this is just like the D chord that we've already learned, which look like that. That was in the last lesson. Now all we're gonna do is put our pinky finger down in that same spot where we've had it for that G chord, the C add nine, and now this E minor seven chord. So those same two notes, and then we're gonna lift off that middle finger because we don't need it down anymore. So then we end up with this. So now we're gonna work on going from E minor to G to this new D chord. Let's try two strums on E minor two strums on G, and then four strums on this new D chord. Now 
Now we're ready to move on to the third chord. Now this one is gonna be called an A7 sus4. It probably sounds a little bit harder than it actually is. Let's take a look. The A7 sus4 chord looks like this. So this one looks a lot like that E minor seven chord that we did, but we're just moving the index and middle finger both down to the next set of strings. Where E minor looked like this, this A7 sus4 looks like that. Now let's add in that A chord to these other ones. So we're gonna start with the E minor seven to G to D to that A chord. And we're gonna be playing two beats on each chord. And then we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting sounding by changing our strumming pattern. Now let's make the strumming pattern a little bit more interesting and you'll probably start to recognize what song this is. So were you able to guess which song we're learning? The bonus here is we're actually learning two songs because they have the exact same chord progression. The first one is Wonderwall by Oasis. The other one is Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. So you may have been able to hear both of those songs in there. If you didn't, then go back and listen again and try and sing both of those songs along with the chord changes. The chord changes are identical in both songs. Now if you try and play along with the original recordings, you'll find that these chords don't quite sound right. And that's because the originals are in a different key than what we're playing in right now. But if you have a guitar capo, you can put that on the neck and then be able to play along with the originals. For Wonderwall, you would put the capo on the second fret. For Boulevard of Broken Dreams, you put the capo on the first fret. But you can play these exact same chord shapes that we were just doing, but with the capo, that'll help you to play along with the original. Also, the strumming patterns on those two songs may be a little bit different than what we're playing right now, but this will still fit. It'll just be more of a simplified version. Well, let's take a look at that strum now. So this strum is gonna be the same as one that we learned in a previous lesson. We're gonna be playing one, two, and a, three, four, and a. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So I would recommend just getting that strum pattern down with just one chord for now, and then start adding in the other ones. Once you're comfortable with that strum, then start adding in the other chords. So far with the chords that you've learned and the strumming patterns that we've learned, you can now play literally hundreds or thousands of songs. And if you check out another video, I'll put the link in the description as well. I have a video that talks about those chords that we've learned and how you can play hundreds of songs. And I actually have a list of 200 songs that you can play with those songs on my website. So keep practicing what you've learned and we'll see you on the next lesson.